Hi everyone, I'm Laura from GoSimply.ca and today I have a total body kettlebell style workout for you. We're going to be doing 10 exercises, one time for each exercise, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds break. You will need uh, a dumbbell, maybe two or three different sizes of dumbbells, or a kettlebell if you have one. Uh, there's no warm up or cool down so you'll want to get that done on your own. I will get my timer ready and we'll go ahead and get started. Hopefully you've got your warm-up done and you're ready to get started. We're going to start with a clean and press. I've got 15 pounds here. I'm starting on the left side. So you're just, we're not going to drop the weight in between, just down to the floor. And we're using sort of an explosive movement with our thigh to push the weight up to our shoulder and then again to push it up over our head. So even though it seems because the weight is being held in our hand that it's an upper body workout exercise, it's really the lower body that's pushing up. So as much as the arm does a little bit, it's really just guiding the weight up and those legs are doing the hard work. And it also gets you huffing and puffing. <laughs> Put that down for a couple seconds, take a wee little break. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Okay, so pick it up, I'll show you on the side here, and push. I just have my left arm out for some counterbalance. You can put it really where you want. I know some people put it on their hips. Whatever works for you. Remember again, we're using that lower body. So this second time through, even though we're using the right arm instead of the left, the legs are really starting to feel tired. So you've got your back flat, abs tight, bum is squeezed. Almost done. Okay, next up we have a halo with a good morning. Put that weight or kettlebell down for a minute. Okay, back and get ready. So we're gonna do one time around the left, one time around the right, and then bend over in a good morning. I'll show you that on the side. One time one way, one time the other. Try if you can to switch which direction you start with with the halo. Just forces your brain to sort of stay in the present moment. <laughs> it's a fine line between going to your happy place and staying focused so that you do your form properly. We've got a goblet squat. We'll put that down for a minute. Okay, grab it again. So we hold it up, chest tight. We're just going to squat down and then back up. I have my feet about shoulder distance apart and I'm remembering to lead with my bum. So you really want to push your bum out, keep the weight in your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes when you're down in a squat because all the weight is back in your heels. Almost done, less than 10 seconds now. Okay, next up we've got a kettlebell swing. I'm actually going to switch my weight to something a little bit lighter. We're starting on the left side. Okay, so you're literally just swinging it up between your legs, sort of down into a squat, and then using your hips to really push it forward. Again, you might need your arm out the side for a little bit of balance on your hip. It's fine. 
So you can see from the side that really it is really a hip thrust. So again, the arm isn't doing much work. It's the hips, the bum, your abs are tight. And of course, if we're doing this now on the left side, our next interval is going to be on the right side. Really squeeze those glutes. Okay, so take a quick break. As you can see, I don't have a kettlebell. It doesn't make a difference. You just need some sort of weight. Okay, so right arm. Kettlebells are great. They're not that expensive, but it is another piece of equipment to buy. If you have handheld weights, you can certainly modify enough to make it work. And then if you decide you really like kettlebell style workouts and you want to have a kettlebell, then go out and get one. I'm really about using what you have and making it work. Most of us don't have a gym studio in their homes. We don't have tons of equipment. We don't have tons of time. So we work with what we have. Almost done here. Oh. Okay, we're gonna do a weighted toe touch crunch. I'm just gonna get down on the floor here. It's the only one down on the ground that we're doing. Okay, so legs up, weights. And like you're trying to get up to those toes. As you can see, I'm not touching my toes. You don't need to touch your toes either. You're just doing a motion like you're trying to get there. And you're remembering to breathe. Abdominal exercises are the easiest to forget to breathe with. And you also make sure you have a good grip on that weight. You don't want that weight to come crashing down on you. It can cause some serious injuries. If it's too hard with a weight, put it down. Just do the toe touch crunch. There's no shame in that at all. Almost done. Great. Now we're gonna do around the world. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher for that one again, back to my 15 pound weight. So start in one direction. You're literally just passing the weight around your body. Your back should be nice and flat. Your legs are about hip distance apart. Your bum is tight. Your abs are tight. And when we get to halfway, we're gonna switch which way we're going. So I'll tell you when. We got another about four seconds here. Okay, switch the other direction. So now you're just going clockwise or well, whichever direction you weren't going last time. It doesn't really matter which way. So you're going to have a little bit of movement when you're doing this, but you're really trying to keep your whole center firm. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to use... I'm going to go a little bit lighter because I'm working triceps here. I'm going to do reverse lunge with a tricep extension. So weights up, we're gonna go down and up. So as we go down, the arms go down. As we come back to standing, the arms go up tall. We're just using one weight between the hands. Or again, if you have a kettlebell, for sure you could be using that. If you don't have weights, you can get creative at home. Maybe you have a big empty milk jug, you can fill it with sand and make a weight. Even old water bottles, you can fill them with sand and make a weight. Or do this without weights. The moves will still give you a good workout. Okay, now we're going to do a figure eight with a bicep curl. I'm going to stick with this weight. It's our last move and I'm definitely starting to feel tired. Okay, so you're gonna pass through your legs behind and then curl up. Behind, curl up. This weight might be a bit light for me, but that's okay, I'll focus on my form instead. 
So this one, it's definitely harder with a dumbbell than it would be with a kettlebell because you're trying to get it through your legs and a kettlebell wouldn't be as big. So you have to watch you don't hit your legs on the way through. And when you come up to do that curl, you're trying to keep that elbow pointing down. You don't want any of this. You're not using your biceps for that. And we're trying to focus on the bicep here. Almost done. It's our last exercise too. Great job. If you've made it through all 10 exercises, then you've worked your whole body top to bottom. Make sure you get in a good cool down and stretch. Thank those muscles for working hard for you. And I hope to see you again soon. To keep up to date with the latest workouts, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like on Facebook. Have a workout request? Send it at gosimply.ca slash contact.